just excited to see what you do with her. Hey everyone, I have been keeping a secret from you and uh, can't keep it any longer because today one of our horses is leaving the farm, but for a good reason and she will be back. But let me tell you what's going on with Blue Mickey. They are all so dirty right now. And if you watched my last video or a video before, I don't know when it was, there's Palmer 66. He's heading out Monday. So this will be on a future video, but Blue Mickey is headed to a trainer. I'm super excited. I have a lot of trainers in my family, but they're booked out. And so I'm gonna give a chance to a friend of mine Actually, her parents are friends of mine, but that makes her my friend too, right? And so, Sydney is amazing, and she's been learning to be a trainer, and she's also headed to vet, vet school. But she's home for a few months, and when I heard that, I was like, hey, would you like to start Mickey for me? And so she said yes, so I'm excited. Mickey's gonna head over there for a month or so, and then come home, and hopefully I can take it from there. But I'm super excited to take Blue Mickey over there. She'll look a lot different when she gets back because all this winter coat will come out. Some of it would come out right now, I think, as I brush her. So anyway, I'm gonna brush her and clean her off before I take her over there. But between winter hair and mud, they have been a mess lately. But finally, the mud's drying out and I'm excited to take Blue Mickey to Sydney Plum's house. So if any of you want to get a, a bolt started by her, your window of opportunity is not very big because she's headed to vet school, but it's worth seeing if she has room for you. So let's go. And I think I'll take Palmer 66 just for the ride, just to give them both some experience. I didn't think I was taking Blue Mickey until just a few minutes ago when I reached out and said, hey, would you want to take her a few days early? Because I'm moving some horses today and Sydney was good enough to say, yep, bring her on over. So let's go. Well, even though you saw this on an earlier video, now I'm just gonna take Palmer 66 with me, hopefully, come on. Good job, good job. Take him with me just as an experience riding with another horse. It's all good practice. Good job, let's go Palmer. Come on, come on. I really don't have time to mess with you too much today. I know he'll load up because he's done it several times there we go good boy good boy awesome good job buddy good job well let's go to town you get a ride with blue mickey and then i'll bring you home blue mickey on the other hand should load right up because i've loaded her many times but videoing it and doing it with one hand there you go. Good job, Blue Mickey. Well, I'm super excited that Sydney has room to, when I say room, you've got to have room in your schedule and room on your in your facility or at your place. And so grateful she has room to get Blue Mickey started. Sorry, I'm driving and doing this. I probably shouldn't be, but anyway, to wave at the neighbors that's what you do in a small town but I'm super excited that Sydney will be taking Blue Mickey and I'm excited to see what she can do with her in 30 days and get her started so that that I can take her from there I used to start Colts myself and then Blake started doing it but I'm just not as young as I used to be and I don't necessarily want to have an accident now, I don't think there'll be an accident with Blue Mickey, 
but Sydney's a lot better than I am. She's been uh, trained by some really good trainers and I'm excited for you to meet her and her to tell you a little bit more about what she knows and what she'll do. And she's just a sweet girl that's headed to vet school. So let's go meet Sydney and drop off Blue Mickey. And I'm excited because when we get Blue Mickey back, not only will she be able to be ridden, but also I think a lot of her winter coat will be gone and she's gonna look slick and nice. Which reminds me, oh, I'm gonna turn around actually. I wanted to get her dewormed before I left. Now, not only, not every uh, Main Street in America can you flip a Yui right on Main Street with a horse trailer with no traffic, but that's why we live in a small town. So now I'm back on the road. I grabbed the dewormers because I'm gonna actually do that for Palmer 66 also before he leaves. But I just like to do that before I take a horse to another facility because if my horses have worms, then you don't want them to spread them to other, other people. So that's just a, not a uh, courtesy, but also it's that time of year to do it anyway, so. So now let's go meet Sydney. Well guys, this is Sydney. And this is where you like to see a trainer on a horse. Cause that's what you're hoping they'll do with yours. <laughs> yeah. But well, that's, uh, you're not even riding with the bridle. That's awesome. How old is your horse? She's four. Four years old. Yeah. And this is her own horse. And how did you say it's bred? Royal Shakel. Yeah. Is that running bred or? Yes. Yes. That's and then awesome. Seaburger red on bottom that Reed head said. So are you wanting to make a barrel horse out of her? Yes. Wow, she is awesome. How long have you been riding her? For a couple years? Um, about oh. two years at the end of summer, so kind of hit or miss. She's that is awesome. Yeah. Well, I am so excited to have Sydney ride. I call her Blue Mickey, but Mickey is her name okay. and she's just a two-year-old so i just want her started obviously we won't ride her heavy yet no. no a lot of people get concerned that that's too young but there's a lot of horses being shown younger than that well they were still running about 18 months old isn't that crazy yes i think that's way too early yeah the, the running horses that's why they get all kinds of problems but yeah Man, she's a beautiful horse. Do you want me just to load her in my trailer when I go? <laughs> yeah, if the price is right, huh? Ah, uh, she is beautiful. Four-year-old. Have you started running barrels on her too? No, I'm just slowly patterning her. So I think maybe after two years, I might have like 200 days on her. So. Well, it's been nice and slow with her and taking our time. So, those that watch my channel are going to be curious where do you, where you learned to be a trainer and uh, yes, I learned from the Leach family, Logan and Lanny Leach. They're kind of reigning cow horse trainers, and so been very fortunate. Got to go spend a summer in Nebraska training colts with them and learned a lot from them and kind of used that to tailor my own training program. So, but you're hoping to be a vet, right? Yes go to school in august and hopefully four years and then <laughs> figure out how to pay off all the debt but dad's trying to figure out how to pay for his uh, rest home in the <laughs> <Yeah>. future <laughs> and for all these horses yeah yep. he just hurt himself trying to help the other day so darn it yep. that's what happens when you uh help with a colt you never know which direction they may no. head so no. Just yep. <laughs> so if someone wants to have you ride a horse for them, do you have much time between now and vet school? I'll have about two months this summer, June and July, I'll have two openings, but that's it. And then full until next summer. Well, so. I'm glad I caught you when I did. Yes. <laughs> so, well, awesome. Yeah. She's a muddy mess, but she's a sweet little horse. That's I think right. you're gonna enjoy her, so. You got a pretty Perfect. nice pen set up for her over yes. there. Yes. So. Oh, that's awesome. Are all these yours? 
Oh uh, no. No, so this one and the other one tied to the side of the grill belong to Dustin Fish. And then we got one that belongs to Mike Reedhead. And then I have five. He has two, and then we have my uncle's horse. So. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? We have one butt, and yet we have a bunch of oh, horses. Yeah, yeah. We can always sit on one, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we get to keep the lead ropes, right? <laughs> sure, until I come get her. <laughs> that, that's a nice lead rope. I, yeah. I, well, those I, kids I, for you. No, that one, I, there was some kids at a swap meet up in Chin Lee. Okay. And it was. There's a kid there in Josie that created a bunch like Oh, that. really? Yeah. I can't, I thought you knew who it was, but. No, I wish I knew someone there, but I, so I've, I've wanted some of those real nice ones and I saw some boys in Chinle. That horse is heading to Kentucky this week. Okay. okay. But I just brought him for the experience of. What is he? He's by my, uh, my roan, Petro Bismol Stallion. Okay. Is that the red roan? Yeah. Yeah. And this horse that you're gonna start, mm -hmm. she comes from Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield, Colorado. And that's the people that have leased the daddy to this roan colt over here. And this roan colt was raised on Douglas DeWitt's um, ranch. Okay. So. Douglas DeWitt was a cousin of mine. Douglas is? Yes. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. No wonder you got that horse stuff in your blood you guys have it pretty deep yeah. so <laughs> my mom is, is a cartoon they made me this cartoon yeah. so this is your office here huh yeah. <laughs> hey i'm not the only one that leaves water on i i gotta i gotta show the people that watch my videos curtis <laughs> i blame it on blake even though he's on a mission i'm like oh blake left it on again yeah, yeah. <laughs> usually the way <laughs> Use those kids. <laughs> exactly. But I think you're gonna like Mickey and I'm sure excited you had time for her, yeah. so. She's like, got a really good mind on her. She's super quiet, but I really haven't done much mm -hmm. groundwork other than okay. just gentle. She, uh, have you ever seen a horse with rain rot? I have, but it's been a while. She came with rain rot because last winter in uh, Colorado, it was so wet mm -hmm. and she had snow on her back the whole winter you know and so she it took for a, a while to get her cleaned up from that and so i doctored her a lot and that really mm -hmm. calmed her down gotcha. but i really haven't done i put a saddle on her one day she didn't balk at it at all okay. so i'm just excited to see what you do with her. But she is super quiet. Just trying to see where she's at. Sydney's jumping right in and just seeing where she's at. So I'm gonna video her for a little while. Like I say, this is exciting.
I mean, the mind definitely factors into it all. If you have a good mind yeah. from what I've seen, so that'll help a lot. Have her loping around in a big arena and stuff like that. Go out on one or two rides in 30 days, but. So, yeah, so just what can I expect in 30 days? What do you expect to do with the horse? Now, it totally depends on how they respond and stuff like right. that. But what's your goal for a, for a horse in 30 days? 30 days usually just have them kind of loping straight lines in between my legs and get them to where they're not leaning on my legs where if I put on my right leg they're gonna pick up the left lead or vice versa um, as far as getting them collected and stuff that's more into 60 and 90 days so she won't be there in 30 days but she'll at least have a foundation to where somebody that doesn't quite know how to put the first fundamentals into one can go from my 30 days and build on that but well that is awesome and and depending what my checkbook looks like maybe i'll have you put in that second 30 days yes. <laughs> um but i'm excited to get you get you started on mickey here you see how she's trying to crowd her space and everything how she pushed her back yeah respecting her space but sometimes these gentle ones gets even more dangerous when they're in your space because they get spooked and they want to run over the top of you because their safety is you yeah and so just right here i can still reach up here pet or would it not but stay right there stay relaxed just that little half step Her there. I want her to stay there. That's awesome. Well, thanks again. And if yes. any of you watching want to have her start a cult, you said you have two two openings, June and July. So okay, but keep a second month open for me yes. just in case. All right. I will. All right. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, thank right. you. Absolutely. Well, guys, I'm super excited. Palmer went with me to drop off Mickey, but uh, I feel really good about Sydney getting Mickey started. So tell me what you think.